Welcome back to my brand new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this kind of AI animation videos using stable diffusion. If you want to know how to install this stable diffusion in your local system, then please comment. I will make a separate video. Once you install stable diffusion, go to extensions, then click on available, then click on load from and search for dforum and install it. As I already installed it, it is not showing here. Once you install it, you will find this dforum tab here. Go to install and click on apply and restart UI. For generating this kind of animations, you will need a model. For this tutorial, I am using this model. Link is in the description. Click here to download the model. After downloading, copy the model. Go to your installer folder. Stable Diffusion Models Stable Diffusion and paste your model here If you want you can go to Civit AI website and check for other models Make sure to paste your model in this directory Now from the drop down select your model and click this icon now change sampler to dpm plus plus hde keras steps to 35 higher this number more quality images you will get set width to 720 and height to 1280 now go to keyframes set animation mode to 3d then click on wrap set duration to 500 frames this value is length of your video now I am using my own settings here. If you want, you can pause the video and copy my settings. Translation X means it will move canvas to left or right. For this tutorial, I am using Translation X, Z and Rotation X, Y, Z. These values makes your camera animations. You can try out with different values. Now go to noise and set noise schedule to this value. Go to anti blur and set amount to 0.05. Go to depth wrapping and set this value to 120. Now go to prompt. These prompts are required to change the animation type at particular frames. You can type any keywords here. Depending on your words, it will generate AI images. For better results, go to the same model, click on any image and here you will find the prompts. Just copy paste and use it. Also you can add some more negative prompts. You can also add some new words like sky fi city background, ultra hd, aliens, spaceship. I am using this image prompt at 60 frames. At 280 frames, I am using this prompt. At 390 frames, I am using this prompt. But I changed a beautiful woman to a powerful king and ruler. Then I will add some more negative prompts. Now go to init and click this use init. Now we will need a photo. Open Premiere Pro, drag your video to timeline. Zoom in. Go to the last frame then click this image icon to generate an image. Then save this image. 
Now open the folder where you saved the image. Right click on it and copy path. Then paste the path here. And remove this double quotes. Now go to output. Here you can set frames. For this video I am setting this for 15. Now click on generate. It will take some time according to your GPU. If you have installed stable diffusion for the first time, then you will see an error like this. Control net is not found. You will see this error at the bottom of the screen. So to install control net, go to this GitHub repository. Link is in the description. Now copy the link from here. Go to extension, install from URL, then paste here and install it. Make sure you have GPU to run this in your system. Once video is exported, open Premiere Pro and import the video. Go to Stable Diffusion Installer, Stable Diffusion, Outputs, Image to Image, then select this first image, then click on the image sequence, then import the video. Then drag and drop here. This video is 720p. So just increase the scale to make it 1080p. Add an adjustment layer and do some color grading on the video. Then finally export the video. For more results, you can try with different models and prompts. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel.